Hi, this is Dan Gilmartin, part of the Gilmartin Group Real Estate Company in Burlingham, California, July 11th, 2022, with your Monday morning market minute. Okay, single family inventory from South San Francisco to Rubbit City right now is 262. That's up from last week's 252. Last year at this time, the number was 164. 2020, that number was 187. 2019, the number was 180. And the 2018 number was 155. The average days on market for all the active uh, homes on the market right now is 39. That's up from last week's 37 and a half. We had 57 homes come on the market. That's a big number. Last week, that number was 29. But again, as you heard me say, we were going into the 4th of July holiday weekend. So um, that, you know, post 4th of July inventory came on the market, 57, and 27 homes went to contract. Last week, that number was 20. The average days on market for the homes that went into contract was 23 and a half days. Last week, that number was 21 and a half days, and transactions fallen through TFT, zero. Good news there. Condominiums right now, 183 condominiums on the market. That's up from 164 last week. Last year, this time, that number was 128. 2020, 129. 2019, 79. And that 2018 number, 67 condominium townhome on the market. Wow, 183 now. Average days on market for the condos, townhomes that are on the market right now, 36 and a half days. And that is actually down from last week's 39 and a half. We had 33 condominiums come to market. Last week, that number was 18. That's a big number, but again, post 4th of July weekend. And we only had, ooh, low number, five homes or condominiums, townhomes go under contract. Last week, that number was 14. So maybe the condominium townhome buyers are still on that 4th of July vacation. Um, uh, the average days on market for the condominiums that went into contract, 33 days. Last week, that number was uh, 27 and a half. So that number went up for average days on market. And we had one transaction fall through on the condominium market. We had 16 homes expire, cancel, withdraw from the marketplace. Kind of a high number. And then here's a whopping huge number, biggest number for 2022, 38 uh, price reductions. That's the uh, beats, I believe 35 was our last high number there. And that's several weeks in a row, although last week was low, but several, you know, the weeks prior to last week, uh, it's been a high number, these price reductions. So total, total from South San Francisco to Redwood City, single family homes and condominiums inventory is 445. That's up from 416 of last week. Last year, this time, that number was 292. 2020, the number was 316. In 2019, 259. And the 2018 number, that number was 222. The last time we were this high, 2020, October of 2020, we had 441 homes, total, total homes on the market. That was the peak for 2020. Here we are at 445. Now, this is very interesting because Although that sounds like it's a big number, it's still a, a relatively a low number. The 2008 uh, recession, if you will, when we were coming out of that, the, um, I was looking back in 2012. So, you know, 2010, the total total number was 933. 2011, the total total number was 841. We were coming out of that 2012, 403, and just kept going down, down, down. So the last time we, we were in this type of, uh, transition, if, we're, if that's what I want to say, was you know back in 2011. Again, in the big big picture, this is you know still low inventory. I mean, we're still half the inventory it was during the 2008 recession. It was you know double the inventory. So interest rates are still holding steady on a, on a historical level. We all know that's still very very low. More inventory for the buyers. That is great news. More of a normalizing market. This is actually. Very, very good news. Sellers, if you're thinking of selling your home, still a great time. It's just the strategy, the process, and the procedures, that's now makes the huge difference. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next week.